Right, so I'm going to give you a rundown of what fits the vertical standard. We've got the 106, the 116, the 308 and the 407, they all fit it as standard. Um, anything larger you need to use an adapter plate, which we sell separately. So, for the vertical standard for mounting the um, 106 and the 116, what you'll do is you'll find within, within the 106 and the 116 there are these two fixings here and here, um, or two fixing holes, and this is where your screws are going to go through. So let's just remove the screws on the spike. And these are a 304 stainless, um, so you don't have to worry about corrosion or anything like that. You come back to them in 10 years and they'll still be rust free. So you just pop the screws through the membranes. and then you're literally going to screw straight onto the spike. Now I will note that with the um, vertical standard, the 116 may be a little bit, so I'm just going to just push it just to there, um, but the 116 may be a little bit tall, so you may end up with it down to the ground because the two fixings on the 116 are in the middle here, and so they have to be mounted like that, which would mean it would sit that much lower. Um, so you have to be kind of wary of when it sits that much lower, um, how far you can kind of spike down. Um, but yeah, that gives you at least an idea. So that, that those two boxes would be suitable for like your flexes and your own wires. For the 306 and 407 what we can do is we can use the grey bracket that actually comes inside the boxes when you buy them so don't throw the grey bracket away I've seen it happen too many times um, so you're just going to line up the bracket with the holes we've just we've made it to line up perfectly and just use the screws that come with the spike to do the bracket up Now, I'd suggest that you connect your cables up to the box before you mount the, mount the box to the spike. But either way, um, basically all we're gonna do is just gonna push the bracket onto the box, like so, and then spike the box in. Now, I will note that this spike in particular isn't really suitable for SWAs. You're gonna find SWAs are gonna pull the spike around a bit. Um, right, so if I take this off, I'll just quickly show you what the 407 looks like. <coughs> And for SWAs, we do actually do a um, mounting option separately called the SWA topper. That's perfect for it. You could use a vertical long. Um, I would. I have heard of a tip where you put in a 20 mil conduit in the ground. You bash it into the ground and then put the spike into that to give you a little bit of extra height. Um, but otherwise, I would suggest you use our SWA topper, which you'll find in another video.